ChatGPT, short for Chat Generative Pre-Training Transformer, is a machine learning model that can generate human-like text. It's been trained on a massive amount of data, allowing it to understand and respond to a wide range of questions and prompts. What you just heard me reading wasn't written by me. It was written by artificial intelligence, ChatGPT. I simply typed in a prompt, write a TV news script written by a reporter about ChatGPT. And in just seconds, the AI spit out the copy you just heard. ChatGPT has exploded in popularity in recent months. CEOs are now using it to write emails. It even passed a Wharton School of Business exam. Should people be more excited about ChatGPT or more fearful of it? I think we should have a mixed view. OpenAI, which owns ChatGPT, says the technology is still in its research phase and can produce inaccurate information. You like artificial intelligence, but are you here to issue a warning about it? Absolutely. Artificial intelligence is sort of like a teenager right now. It's exciting to see the teenager like get its footing, but it's also not there yet and we can't trust it. But Microsoft thinks it's a good bet, even with some risks. They're investing billions of dollars in open AI. Jack Poe, CEO of Ansible Health, had ChatGPT take three versions of the U.S. medical licensing test, and it passed all three. Not only can it answer very complex questions, it can also modulate its answer. Poe and his team of 30 doctors started using the platform to help with treatment for their patients who have COPD, a pulmonary disease. What this technology could really enable and has already started enabling us is to suddenly suggest things that we might not be thinking of at all. It will absolutely save lives. Jake Heller is a lawyer and founder of Case Text, which helps its clients comb through documents using AI like ChatGPT. You can have it read police reports. You can, you can have it see if witnesses gave contradictory testimony. You can almost certainly help find information that is pertinent to you know, guilt or innocence. But Poe and Heller both say that human oversight of ChatGPT is still necessary. OpenAI says the platform can produce harmful instructions. In law, there absolutely is right and wrong answers. And that's why you know, ChatGPT alone is not going to be enough to handle some of the most important questions in fields like law. And then there's the question of plagiarism. New York City public schools banned ChatGPT on school network devices due to concerns about negative impacts on student learning and concerns regarding the safety and accuracy of content. It's an incredible innovation. At the same time, it's like opening a Pandora's box. Which is why Edward Tien, a 22-year-old Princeton student himself, spent his winter break building GPT-0, which he says can detect whether something is likely written by a human or chat GPT. He says teachers use it to check their students' papers. Is this like one AI cross-checking another AI? In a sense, uh, yeah. But can it spot misinformation? Oh, okay, yeah. So as opposed to um, misinformation, it's more of like it can only spot if something is AI generated or human generated. And that's the greatest fear of all, spreading misinformation. ChatGPT, a tool designed to help humanity, could ultimately hurt it. People who want to manipulate elections and things like that, um, instead of like writing one thing at a time, you're going to be able to write thousands of things to give, for example, vaccine um, denialism um, more oxygen than it deserves.